I said, well, how'd it do? It's good for you. I dig a lot of those actors. But son, you ain't got a thing on me. See, I got friends with tractors. This is a large frame Bolins um, with the plow. Uh, 14 cylinder, 14 horsepower. This is a 1254 tube frame, gear driven, has the uh, generator attachment, shaft driven. We're into the Bullens 1250. This is the first of the large frames. This is a groundskeeper. These groundskeepers are awesome. Articulates in the middle. You'd buy that to be like for uh, like golf courses and things. Bullens 1050, another tube frame. Bullens 1000, this is an older model tube frame. Bullens 1256, another tube frame. Bullens G9. 9 horsepower tube frame, we've got the Bolins, another 1050, we've got another large frame, another large frame with the Bolt H223s, and we've got a Bolins 1050 with a uh, gas brass, brass catcher, we've got a couple of large frames with uh, snowplow calves, we've got a couple of large frames with snowplow calves, this one has a blower. This one has the flail mower on it, and then just a large frame, an HT20 with the tiller attachment. Frame HT20 with the tiller attachment. You can see the hydraulic connections on the front there. And we've got another HT with the snow cab, and 1476 with the snow cab and the snow blower attached. We got a 1050 with its awesome chrome hubcaps. Our machinery company at MC. Bowling's H23 with the suitcase weights on the front. Big piece of machinery. I would love to own one of those. Still has the shaft driven attachments on it. Alright. Brian's gonna start up the groundskeeper for us.
shaft driven attached to the shaft drive right down there. The hydraulic attachments. Runs all off hydraulic arms. First of the large frames. Twelve fifty four with its generator attachment, shaft driven. Take your power with you. Large frame of the plow. AJ Foyt and here the AJ Foyt uh, high performance. We've got the suburban riding lawn mowers. These are always fun. Ads always show some well-dressed lady riding around on them mowing the lawn. The state keeper, the smaller brother of the groundskeeper that we saw earlier. We've got one with snowblower attachment, one with the uh, rotary mower attachment, one with the regular mower attachment. This one came from Ace Hardware. Rear engine, pivots in the middle. We've got an estate keeper, another estate keeper, another one of those articulating tractors, rear engine. Towing an estate keeper. We've got a Boland's lawn keeper. This would be the smallest of the articulating tractors. Okay, that one. These are the ride masters. That's what, yeah, that's what these are called. The, the bigger ones are called Ride Masters. And then we've got a bowl and snowblower here. We've got a display of Boland's um, chainsaws. Somatic with a uh, sprayer attachment on the front of it. And the power pack with its optional uh, tiller and uh, mower. Two, horse, two and a half horsepower. And then the Supermatic 52, which is 3.6 horsepower. And then we have a whole other series of the uh, Versamatics. We have a tiller. Oh, we've got one of the single wheel models. Those are cool. We got a, a handy hoe and another Versamatic. Starting with a whole series of very early, very old Bowens with a bunch of fun different attachments on them. Walk behind with a planter attachment here. A couple of different plow attachments here. Couple different sulkies. Ah, here's one with a roller attachment. Like tamp out your yard or whatever it is you're tamping out. Another one of the suburban like mowers. A couple this of suburban cool. mowers. all their 50s or 60s glory. Poland's H14. 
beautiful tractor. Bowling 1556, basically the same tractor with a slightly larger motor. We've got a couple of gear driven tube frames, Bowling 750. Another one of the riding mowers. Ride-O-Matic with a different front end. Coffee table. Coffee table. Everybody should have a coffee table. Another Ride Master. Beautifully restored Ride-O-Matic. 16 for sale. 1253 with an awesome 3.0 hitch. Stall on the back. We'll do with that. Okay, we can go around the back. You want to see where? Which one? The one with the plow on the back. Oh, okay. We're back. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Homemade three-point hitch, which is totally awesome. Very unique. Here we've got a Bolin H16 from 1973 with the uh, generator attachment. And we've got a large frame with a, oh, I can't remember, a new idea loader. And then another one of the Suburban mowers. generator attachment. This one's a Winco as opposed to the Generac we saw earlier. More versamatics and home go. Powered by a John Deere three cylinder. Attachment. 
right next to it, we've got a large frame tractor. You can see the size difference between the two. And then we got a Boeing 775 riding mower. Got a Bullens 1000, two frame tractor, an LTA. I'm familiar with those. 